So this book is part of Kraken's summer school series. The school gave it to us for him to read over the summer. Animals Together. Marcia S. Freeman, consulting editor. Readers for writers. That's a little paper with a pen. And look, two pandas eating bamboo. Readers for writers. Writing craft. Write with strong verbs. Oh, this is a life science book for animals. Present information through comparison. It's a Roar Classroom Resources. Let's see. Animals Together by Luana K. Mitten and Mary M. Wagner. And if you want to see, there's some information about the authors. And about the book. All right, oh, look, it's a little family of wolves. I believe those are gray wolves. Some animals of the same species, that means the same kind, live or work together. They need each other to survive. It means to live and do well. A pride of lions hunt and eats together. The lion cubs eat last. See, these are female lions. You can tell because they have no mane. A group of lions is called a pride, and a group of fish is called a school. Bees work together. A colony of bees makes honey. This is what the honey, the beeswax looks like, or honeycomb once it's full of honey. They just look at all the lots and lots of little bees. Here, let me get that picture up really close. Super tiny. And look, it's a pair of geese. I wonder if you have these geese near you. A pair of geese builds a nest together. And see, there's their nest with their eggs. A wolf protects the pack from predators. It howls to warn the pack. So a group of wolves is called a pack. Predators are things that would attack and then them to eat them or otherwise hurt them. Humans live and work together too. Yep, so these two are probably related, but maybe not. But you live in a town or a group of people or a city. You want to work together. We prepare a meal. Looks like apple slices. Yum. And eat together. I like this little chef hat. We can do fun things together. We can sing together. Oh, but they must all be singing. Singing as a little group. One, two, three, four, five children singing. And he's looking at the camera. Everybody else is looking at who's helping them sing. Oh, look, it's a house under construction. We can build a house together. Do you live in a house with brick like this? That's exciting. But some animals are solitary. Solitary means solitaire, which is to be alone. They live by themselves. And do things by themselves even though they may share the same habitat habitat is a place that they live so a frog might live in a pond or or deer in the forest or things like that those are habitats they do not live or work together so even if they're together that doesn't mean that they're playing or singing or anything like that a bald eagle catches its prey. Another eagle does not help. Ooh, he's catching a fish with his toes. A badger makes its own den. Another badger does not help. Ooh, look at the badger with the stripe. I think he's really cute. A fox protects itself from predators. Another fox does not help. 
Compare that to the wolves who live together as a pack. We sometimes do things by ourselves, but we still need each other to survive. That's true. Oh, and that's the end. Here is a little exercise of something you can do. It's animals that live and work together and solitary animals. Lions, people, zebra, wolves. Zebras live in a herd. There may be a special word for it, but horses live in herds, so I think that's what we can use for zebras. Solitary is animals that live alone, like a turtle, a badger, an eagle, a fox. Can you add to these lists? What animals live together? What animals are solitary? A solitary animal is an example like a tiger or a snow leopard. They live by themselves, except for when they're going to have babies. Polar bears are solitary too. And animals that live together in a group, meerkats or prairie dogs all live together. So this is like glossary. This explains different words. So this is a different way to explain the words I had. An index tells you where the different animals are listed on the pages. If you noticed, every page has numbers at the bottom. The end. But yeah, that's about animals together. Panda bears are actually very solitary too. They live by themselves. But they must eat the bamboo. I hope you enjoyed the book. Have a great day.